hate us. Because then there's no what God is saying to us. Because we go to the light. If we run from the light, it's always darkness if you keep the light behind you. But if you go towards the light, you ever look at the sun? You try to look at the sun? Mm -hmm. That's nothing compared to your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nothing. It says the sun will melt away at his coming. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's something you can't, you cannot look at the sun. Too long. Now just imagine someone who the sun has to flee from. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that's why I love that song, I Can Only Imagine. That song does so much to my heart and soul. I can only imagine when that day comes, we're forever standing in the sun, by myself standing in the sun, will my, what does it say, baby, when the knees, to my knees will I fall, fall, will I dance for you, Jesus, or will I be able to talk at all? Yeah, I can only imagine. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful song, man. Cause it you is. know what? I got to say that, mother. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, right now, I think I'm gonna jump for joy. You know, start singing songs. Jesus, did you like when I used to sing this one? Cause I, you know, I hope I please my Lord. I'm asking. I am. He said. I mean, I don't. They don't actually say it in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I don't think. But I, I mean, I've heard it put somewhere you can ask him what you want when you get there. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, I guess. You want to sit down and walk with Abraham and all, you know what I mean? So, hey, Lord, okay. how was my rap? <laughs> I just want to know. I want to get the okay from the top, God. You know, but, I mean, what would you do in front of him? Could you imagine Jesus just standing in front of him? Like, wow. And it's a shame we really don't equate it with what's really going on because he is standing here. Jesus is here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm The Word of God tells us. Everywhere we go, he's there. Yep, when two or three gather, gather but, his name. But because of the, the body and the separation from the spirit world to the yeah. flesh world, <laughs> you kind of protect it from fainting or whatever. Because right now, I think the way our lives are, if we seen Christ, we might, I don't know. If we was in body form, we probably could take it. But in his form, you probably die. You probably would die. The Bible says God is consuming fire. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You get close to that purity, you're probably going to die. And that's why he said, hey, he's seen something. He said, he's seen a vision before he made that song. And when he made that song, he wants everything inside of him. He wants to dance for Jesus. He wants to jump up and down and say hallelujah for Jesus. But then something in him tells him that this man is so pure, so righteous, so great and mighty that I might just fall down and can't even talk. And that is true. We talking about the light of the world. Man, we take that light, man. He's the light Amen. of the world. Amen. Oh my God. The Bible says in his city, we don't need the sun. Amen. <laughs> He's the light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Can you imagine that? Him lights up the entire place. That's all you need. And that's what he's telling us today. I'm all you need. I'll light up your entire world if you just let me. Let me shine. Let me shine. Let me shine through you. Right? We got songs. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. And that's what God is saying. 
Let it shine. Don't be like the Pharisees. Bishop, I think Bishop mentioned it the other day, and I was thinking about it too, because sometimes I catch myself maybe grumbling about something. Maybe I do. I don't mean to. You know, I love my church. I love my family. I love my Lord to the utmost. I love Bishop. I love uh, Pastor Leticia. But sometimes, you know, you get into one of those, maybe you're talking to the wrong person, maybe you're listening to the enemy, maybe you just got a problem with yourself that day. But then you start grumbling and complaining and talking about people or whatever. You know, the enemy will trip you up in a second if you're not careful. Amen. You know? And you might not mean it. Your intentions might be good, but you might be doing the very thing that God don't like. In his house. <laughs> you know? So if you think about it, hey, we need the light. Shine all day, every day, every situation. Because there's no time that I would ever choose to be in the dark. Except if I'm asleep. And even then, because I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, the light is on. You know what I mean? Because he don't sleep. <laughs> the Holy Spirit don't sleep. That's it. Oh, you know that's something to jump on me down, say hallelujah about that God is on the watch, twenty four seven. Yeah, because remember he told the disciples, "Can you at least pray one hour? You can't even stay up, you know, to watch yourself." But we got a loving master who watches over us through the time that we slumber. You know, I couldn't even really close my eyes without knowing Jesus was watching over me, that he was protecting me. That's why my sweet, my, my, my sleep is sweet. Because I know my Lord got me. And I'm filled with the love that he has that tells me if I die tonight, it's only the beginning. They meet you in heaven if I die tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. But one thing's for sure, until the light is through shining through me, I ain't going nowhere. Because it's God's plan for my life that's going to succeed. Not what I want, what he wants. Amen, amen, amen. 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 This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. Amen. And it's all for the light. All the light is for the light. There's no other light. 8 o'clock, 8.15, 8 o'clock. What is it? 8 o'clock. Is it 8? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. No, I'm talking about when it's in. I'm not telling yeah. what time it is now. No, it's time What did you say, 8.30? No. It's time now. It's time now. Huh? No? He's trying to go. Okay. I just want to sing one more song. No. <laughs> just killed him. No. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful. You know, for having a place where we get taught the the. The unalterated word of God. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We get the true word here. We have. We've been blessed with Pastor Jesus outreach and, and then Love of God ministry because we believe in the true word. The word is. We know the light. We know. We know what's right. We have a faith that we can come and express our love for God. You know, that's we. Love, I love you, Bishop, because you do. You let. You allow the children of God. To express their love for God. Amen. Amen. You know, and I love it. He loves you too. I know he does. I know he does. And that's what makes it all the best. Amen. You know what Amen. I mean? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, because he does. He's an example of what he tells us to be. God loves He loves. He loves and then he tells us to love. God loves you too. But he said, like he always says, he's about to clean up too. an example, right, Christian? By example, not not blowing you. I know you don't like nobody, but I'm saying the Bible says you're honored to what I'm going to do. You know, God first, but you God's man. You God's man. And, and I don't, nobody ever thought any man should be uh, proud, you know, to be able to be behind, you know, with you, you know, in the, in the things of God. So I'm just thanking you right now because it comes, it don't never slip my mind how good mm -hmm. you are to it. You know, and I know it's because of the love you have for God. 
Mm-hmm. And God let me do it. Oh, yes. I'm oh, on the side. I know. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. <laughs> Bishop, you want to go ahead? Go ahead. You want to be tied and offered? Oh, yeah. Before we start. Mm-hmm. She's going to be the bomb.